Bald Parents, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Hope you guys are well. I've just uh, done a bonus reading for you for the end of October, Aquarius. And um, what I was feeling when I was shuffling your cards is there's an increase in fortune just ahead for you. So we'll see what's been going on first. Uh, under the deck, we have the anchor. The anchor means that in a relationship that was stable, uh, maybe your partner's not going anywhere time, anywhere anytime soon. Maybe if you're single, um, you're going to meet up with someone who will be consistent um, in your life for the for, uh, foreseeable future. Now, it can also mean that you're feeling stuck. You've got this stuck energy. So... We have the path as well, decisions, and uh, maybe you're at a crossroads in your life here, Aquarius, and you're not sure which road to take. You don't know which way your relationship's going. And you definitely have to make choices in regards to your love life. Now, it can also mean that in the future you're going to date someone who is an alternative person, possibly a Libra with the crossroads. You have the beautiful sun. The sun in love readings is a good sign. It does show happiness. It does show um, that there's a lot of good going on around you or that you're on good ground. If you're single and looking for love, it does mean that you're about to meet the person who's an answer to all your prayers. Now, it could be a Leo for some of you. Now, this is a um, mixed bag of uh, messages, so... You must take whatever resonates with your uh, relationship going on now. We have the bear, which can mark some interference of family members in a relationship. You know, it could feel like um, with the diviner, the woman, the coffin and the house. It could feel like uh, there was been a death in the family, uh, someone's passed over, or someone coming through to give you a message. Now, it could be a woman who has passed over, it could be uh, that she passed away in your home or a childhood home. You know, you've got the diviner here, so some of you may have a career in spirituality. Perhaps you're feeling stuck where... It comes to trusting your gut instinct at this present time and it's telling you it's now time to keep your past in the past when it comes to your love relationships okay you may be trying to sustain whatever the situation is even after the relationship has died it might be an ending of a cycle in the relationship you've learned all your lessons time to move forward in in this lifetime but, you know, um, this is regarding a woman who wants security, reliability and consistency in her life. Okay, to get that certain happiness, you may want to have to rely on your confidence here. Because especially with the sun in the reading. Um, and to get that certain happiness, you have to have that confidence that's going to be sure success for you now you've got to stick to your lifestyle lifestyle changes but don't rely on a more powerful person to help you is what the feeling i'm getting you do have good fortune and increasing fortune ahead so i'm going to take a flower spirit card to end this reading here and we still um have the energies of the full moon in aries going on but you know you could be dealing with a libra or a leo in this let me see what card comes out for you. Thank you. Okay. So you've got this beautiful card here. To release what was to embrace. Sorry. I release what was to embrace growth and regeneration. So let's have a look at this uh, card here for you. Just bear with me. Yeah. I can 
me a second to find it. It doesn't actually say the name of them. So. It definitely is a tulip. Okay. So you've got the beautiful tulip. It's a one of growth and regeneration. So this is telling you to celebrate the regeneration by choosing a simple way to make yourself feel fresh and different. Change the color of your hair, maybe the colors you wear, your style, or maybe redecorate your home. Now making changes brings about new energy and a refreshing vitality that you may have been uh, lacking. You know, you have the, the anchor here, which is a stuck energy. So it's telling you um, by making these changes, it will bring about new energy and refreshing vitality. So it's gonna get away, uh, give away the, the lack that you've been feeling lately. You know, we are all capable of enormous growth in all areas of our life. Regeneration is yours once you decide what you need to go for it, okay? So what you need to decide with the decisions here. So some of you that have had a death in your home, um, yep, just um, change the colour of the rooms, furniture perhaps, change yourself and you're going to feel more regenerated and uh, things you'll find are going to start to grow it definitely is an increase in fortune ahead for you Aquarius and um, I'm doing these off the bat of the uh, full moon in Aries the super moon so you're still playing out for you guys love to you all bye for now